Today is Wednesday, January 15, 2020. This is part two of a previous video uh, addressed to President Trump and his personal attorney, Mr. Rudy Giuliani. Now, as I was saying, Mr. Trump and Mr. Rudy Giuliani, for this pro vice, I will try to act as you do, uh, intelligent. Try to act this way. Um, my instincts are these. Instincts are these. Because uh, I haven't been following everything. I always make that clear. I would like to point that out. So I haven't been able to study and, 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 and just actually just try to communicate with God. I haven't communicated God, with God since uh, 1994. But the point is this. I'm concerned about uh, this case uh, not being dismissed by the Chief Justice. Because uh, uh, the senators have no uh, prerogative to stop Rudy, Mr. Rudy Giuliani from presenting a motion to dismiss. Nor any White House counsel, nor any other attorney that you might employ for yourself. Now, of course, um, it would be great for the case to go to a trial, but owing to this so-called new evidence and them wanting to hear from John Bolton, John Bolton, uh, uh, Mr. George uh, Soros could have given him a million dollars, a billion dollars, or a million dollars to come in there and, and, and lie and just say anything to... Uh, then it goes into a swearing match. You know, <laughs> you know how they go. Uh, his word against yours, your word against his. But the point is, is that the senators uh, saying after they vote to remove you that, and then going on television to the American people saying that, yeah, I know I said that, you know, we voted together and things, but at the time, uh, we hadn't heard from uh, uh, John Bolton. Had I had heard, known what John Bolton was going to say, then I, I, I would not have, uh, you know, uh, indicated that I would uh, not vote to remove him. So, Mr. President, it's like you could be being ambushed. John Soros and, and what's his name, Mr. Uh, I'm just I'm with no disrespect to neither one of these guys. They may have no intention, and they may have an intention of uh, committing these uh, kind of crimes, bribing these senators to pretend like they won't vote to remove you, and yet you be tricked into thinking that you gon you you got you you gonna be protected. And then they vote to remove you based upon whatever John Bolton may now say. And based upon what um, this so-called new evidence they have uh, revealed. Here are the senators uh, at the House of C Right now, I'm under, under the assumption that they're going to quit you. But I don't want to be uh, looking at the news later and them telling me, uh, uh, the world, that the new evidence in John uh, Bolton's testimony uh, caused them to change their uh, their um, vote. So, because all this should have been done, as I'm hearing everyone that's a Republican say, in the House would do process, and it wasn't. Uh, why would you allow? Why would you go? See me? I wouldn't even go through this. I wouldn't even let it go further. The chief justice has to dismiss it because the articles, the just the the the, the names of the uh, articles of impeachment do not state a crime against the United States. So now, uh, do the uh, does the chief justice have a duty to look beyond the allegations of the? Uh, title of the, well, yeah, I would have supposed so. Okay, but see, I also had misspoke too. I said the articles of impeachment stating facts. No, they are not supposed to state facts. The articles of impeachment are supposed to allege or state have what we call averments. Just state a crime, and those crimes, uh, for example. On Tuesday, December 10, 1991, 
heretofore on about then. Ronald Dwayne Whitfield with intent, frame of mind.